How much gold is in Home Depot sand? This is a lot of sand. <laughs> We're rich. We're actually starting to see a little bit of gold. Good morning or good afternoon, everyone. Welcome if you're new here. My name is Polly. I have gold fever, but I'm also lazy. And because I don't live far from Home Depot, we're gonna go get some Home Depot pay dirt. So let's go. So a few other people have already done this before in other hardware stores around the world, but I wanted to see if I could get lucky in my hometown. La 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 la. We are here. I'm gonna be as quick as I can in here because we got a mission to do. I don't know if we need a cart, but I'm oh, also yeah. easily distracted. Now that's a bucket. Yeah. I already got waved at. Whatever. Excuse me, sir. Do you know where uh, some play sand would be? Uh, yeah, sure. I can take you down there. Okay. Oh. Do you have any gold crevice tools here? Gardening tools are gonna be your best bet. Any dredges? No dredges, I'm afraid. Hi, bank. So here we have it. This is the play sand, right? Yeah, you bet. Okay, awesome. So I don't get the concrete because I'm going to regret that. So this is 25 kilograms, which I believe is, well, that's like 50 pounds, 55 pounds or something like that. I didn't know they come in bags, so I'll probably get a bucket for the thumbnail. Got a bucket right here. I want to fill this bucket up. So I think maybe, I guess two at least. Yeah, I think two is fine, hey? Okay, so I almost went for the concrete. Like I said, I'm lazy, so I'm going to let Aaron here uh, move all the sand. We already have a leak. We are losing gold. Oh, what's going to happen now? What do you have to say about this? Uh, we need better bags. Before I got more distracted, it was time to leave. Yes, card error. And once I escaped the store, we were actually on our way. Wasn't supposed to work like that. So now I want to put the sand in the bucket. <laughs> I can feel the nuggets in here. Let's go! Anytime I'm in a pinch, this guy is always there to help. So we're here at the public gold cleaning place, which is Andy's house. I have a bucket of gold for you. You made it. So this is the setup. That's cool. Oh, you're already doing some cons right now. Okay, this is the gold I kind of want to find in this bucket. I highly doubt I'm going to find that in that bucket. Or I have two bags of sand anyway, but yeah, that's uh, significantly more gold than I expect today. This is from your last wash plant, hey? Yeah, that's our old trommel there, and uh, it used to be our production plant, and now it's just our little cleanup sluice. Oh, how you've upgraded. <laughs> so the plan of attack is obviously to wait until Andy Thrax Mining is done cleaning his stuff, and then I'm gonna use his equipment because I don't have my own to clean out this bucket of sand and this bag we have here. So we're all ready to run now, but before I get started, I just wanted to say that I really want to wear this hoodie and represent the merchandise, but unfortunately it's too hot. I'm not taking off my toque though, but if you're interested in getting your own Pioneer Poly merchandise, my website's now open at pioneerpoly.com. Normally when you run concentrates through a concentrator, you're supposed to actually run pure concentrates, but because this is sand, it's not concentrated, so you can run this dry. But if it takes way too long, we're just gonna put the rest into this thing which will concentrate it and then we can do this if that makes sense scoop numero uno so I'm just gonna get the bucket a little bit wet because it's creating a lot of dust and I don't like dust Four scoops in and I'm already tired. Andy, do you wanna make sand castles? Yeah. There might be people in the comments complaining that I'm doing this too fast, but you know what? This isn't concentrate. I'm not too worried about losing some stuff. If there's any gold in here, I'm confident at least it's gonna get caught. Okay, so this is a very time consuming thing, even when using a sluice box. It also doesn't help being so sensitive to the sun. Insert vampire comments now. <sighs> so there is some black sand showing up, so that's a good sign that there could be black sand around. Also, the gold will be under that black sand, so with any luck, we'll find at least one piece of fly poop. <laughs> so we got one more little bit of sand in here that we're gonna put the rest in here because this is actually going a lot quicker than I thought it would. So we'll dump this in. Ah! 
Come on. And then put that into here in the air. Out of hot water. <laughs> so while Bailey and I are panning sand, Andy is panning, what is that, Andy? I'm not sure how many grams it is, but I'm pretty sure that's the biggest cleanup I brought home yet. I mean, what is it? It's black sand. What The, the yellow stuff is, is the overburden. <laughs> We're getting rid of it. We're actually collecting these gray bits, which are just Lead? waste chunks of lead and then okay. the black sand to me and Paul is the most valuable because there's absolutely no use for it to anybody but us and so we just hang on to it as much of it as we can All right, so I just finished the second bucket here. So I'm just gonna let it run for another 2.671 seconds, and then we're gonna shut her off, pan it all out, and then hopefully find a little bit of gold, because if there is gold in here, I'll be honest, I'm gonna start a Home Depot gold rush. All right. Moment of tooth. Do we see any candy in the, the riffles? I don't see anything, and that's kind of to be expected. now. Each one of these little holes that you see are full of black sand. So that's a good sign that there's black sand around. And it could mean that gold is in them, but there's only one real way to find out. Throw it in the air. Yeah, and that is to use a gold pan. Uh, ow. <laughs> now because the gold is so fine, we're not gonna see it on the mat. We're probably gonna see it in the black sand, if there's any there. And I'm really hoping there is some in there. The cleanup process takes some time too. You have to be especially careful you don't lose anything when doing these types of tests because you're looking for even the tiniest piece of gold which would be easy to lose and in this case would mean success or failure. It's in there. Okay. So this is the top mat. This is where you're gonna see Anything, if there is anything. I think it's fine. All right, so this is the material that was left from sluicing. Is there gold in Home Depot sand? We're about to find out. So I migrated to Andy's front lawn because it is way too cold to be out there in the sun right now. So we're just gonna sit right here and hopefully find something. So shake everything down to the corner. All right. So as you can see, there's a lot of light material in here. I could have run, ran the machine, the sluice box a little longer, but uh, I didn't. But uh, the light stuff doesn't matter. What we're looking for is the black sand layer. Because if you find black sand, it means there's black sand around, which could mean there could be gold. And if there's no gold in here, please, I hope you guys still like me. Still watch my videos. So we're at the black sand now. Now you can start to see more Leia. I thought I'd speed this up because I'm really taking my time here, but now you can listen to my chipmunk voice. Come on, just one piece of gold. I don't care how big it is, as long as we can see it. We have a microscope now, so we were able to get a close shot. Oh my god, hey! <laughs> we're actually starting to see a little bit of gold! There's gold right there! You may not be able to see that on camera, but that's okay. You can trust me. That's a real tiny, tiny bit. That's kind of expected if there's going to be gold in here. It's going to be really small. But there's still more to go. So hopefully, hopefully there'll be more pieces. A little bigger would be nicer. But I don't care. We're still finding gold. 
pause. I just want to say that not all sand will have gold in it, but most sand should. Sand starts off as hard rock before it's crushed down into sand, and if there's any gold present in any of that hard rock, well, there should be gold in the sand. So it really just depends where the sand originally came from. If you live along the west coast like I do, or anywhere where there's gold in the area, there's a good chance you're going to find gold in store sand. It's still sitting there too. That's definitely gold. Okay. But is there more gold? Yes, there's more gold. Right there. Woo! Two pieces of candy. Flat. Oh, there's the number. Okay, yeah, there's actually more gold in here than I thought there would be. We have a little bit right there. Oh, look, look at that. A little handful. One, two, three, four. Yeah, they're really small bits, but there is gold in Home Depot pay dirt. Home Depot play sand. And the funny thing is, I didn't even bring a snapper bottle because I honestly didn't think we'd find anything. Andy, we're rich! So I just spent a lot of time separating the black sand from the gold, and this is what we found. A lot more gold than I thought there would be. And we even have a garnet. So that's a double success. And for those of you who are wondering, no, there was no gold still left in that mat before I used it because Andy and I both scrubbed the heck out of those mats before using it. So. This is Home Depot gold. Now, because I don't think this is enough gold to weigh, I didn't mean to touch it. Because I don't think this is enough gold to weigh, I'm just gonna end this video right here. Thanks for watching, it was a success. Do you have time to watch one more video? Click on one of these for another adventure.